Yeah. Got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Yeah, got a new damn good show. That's too much. You're doing too much right now. Anyway, so up in Congress, they're having these hearings about uh, Hunter Biden's laptop. Right? That should be interesting. Yeah, but Democrats. It should be jam-packed. Yeah. But it shouldn't be a born second during them hearings. But you know Democrats, they got to they gotta install some political theater. Misrepresent some things. Yeah. They misrepresent everything. I mean, I mean they, uh, Democrats, they're walking straw mans, man. They yeah. misrepresent everything. They, yeah. So check out this video. It has nothing to do with the Hunter Biden laptop, but they're trying to make. Just watch the video. On September 8th, 2019, at 11, 11 p.m., I hate this dude Donald this. Trump heckled two celebrities on Twitter. Heckled. Uh, John Legend <laughs> and his wife, Chrissy Tagan, and referred to them as the musician John Legend and his filthy-mouthed wife, <laughs> unquote. That's a fact. Ms. Tegan <laughs> responded to Tegan. that email. Tegan. At 12.17 a.m., and, and according to notes from a conversation with you, Ms. Navarroli's counsel, your counsel, the White House almost immediately thereafter contacted Twitter to demand the tweet be taken down. Is that accurate? Those are strong words. Thank you for the question. In my role, I was not responsible for receiving any sort of request from the government. However, what I was privy to was my supervisors letting us know that we had received something along those lines or something of a request. And in that particular instance, I do remember hearing that we had received a request from the White House to make sure that we evaluated this tweet and that they wanted it to come down because it was a derogatory statement uh, directed uh, well, towards well, the president. They wanted it to come down. They made that request. To my recollection, yes. I thought that was an inappropriate action by a government official, let alone the White House. But it wasn't Joe Biden about his son's laptop it was Donald Trump because he didn't like what Chrissy Teigen had to say about him. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. My, my, my. He's supposed to be talking about Hunter's laptop, um, right? <laughs> do you ever think it's appropriate for the President of the United States to direct or otherwise influence a social media company to take down its content? I think it's a very slippery slope. No shit. Mr. Roth, Ms. Gaddy, Mr. Baker, any evidence that Joe Biden's ever done that? Got a mask on my face. Certainly none that I'm aware of, no. I don't recall anything like that. I'm sorry, the, the, the President Biden did what, sir? Has Joe Biden ever called Twitter, to your knowledge, or his White House at his behest to take down content or urge you to take down content? I don't know the answer to that question, sir. Well, I, I'm going to have to conclude at least from three of the four. You don't know. There's no evidence he's ever done that, but there's plenty of evidence. Donald J. Trump tried to do that. Really? What? And um, if we're going to have a hearing about the misuse of social media and the intrusion of government in the content on social media, we've got an environment-rich target, but it's not Joe Biden. Wow. It's Donald J. Trump. And, of course, we don't want to talk about that. Wow. We don't want to talk about Russian bots and Russian what fabrications the? using fake accounts on Twitter to a political purpose, and it's not to help elect Democrats. Um, and we don't want to talk about four years of Donald Trump manipulating hey, fool the off, truth man. and trying to manipulate social media and threaten this it, clown uh, off. <laughs> or directly to try to shape it by taking down content because it was critical of him personally. What? Um, and that's what we ought to be talking about as we move forward, not the subject of today's hearing. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, so. He's the, supposed to be talking about Hunter Biden's laptop. They're having hearings, and he goes AWOL. Hey, so let me say this. So the lady that's uh, the black, I think she's black with the yeah. braids and the hair, she doesn't work at Twitter any longer, and she's giving testimony based on hearsay. Yeah. But he says this is evidence. And this, that wasn't her role at Twitter. She's actually no longer at Twitter. Yeah. Why, instead of talking to her, you talk to the actual supervisor? Yeah. Right. You can't do that because I don't think this conversation ever happened. Yeah. I don't think Trump ever reached out to the White House. If it did, why don't you have the actual supervisor giving direct t testimony today? Yeah. 
with based on evidence. Time not, date stamps, uh, emails, yeah. conversations. Yeah, not hearsay from somebody that no longer works there. Oh, I overheard a, a conversation. Oh, by my recollection, my supervisor <laughs> overheard. Yeah. And he takes that as evidence. And then he goes into Russia. Yeah. That was proven false. Yeah. There's no evidence that Trump colluded with Russia. You spent millions of dollars on that and you still bring this up? Democrats are the biggest liars. They misrepresent everything. They said President Trump was heckling Christy Tingen. I don't call heckling, I don't call someone tweeting a response offering criticisms to someone heckling. It's an open forum. You taking the word heckle out of context and you misrepresent what the word heckle means. That He wasn't yeah. heckling. He was criticizing her. Yeah. And it's a fact she is foul mouth. I mean, what, you got her response on Twitter? No, I don't, I don't have foul mouth people on my. Yeah, let me find a tweet, man. LOL, what a P U S S Y A S S B I T C H tagged everyone but me and honor, Mr. President. I mean, okay. she is foul mouth. That, that is a direct. I mean, I would say that's against Twitter's guidelines. Yeah, they never did community take, guidelines. Take the. Uh, tweet oh, now. you best believe it was a Republican? Oh, that tweet's coming down. Yeah, but so I want to say there's no evidence of Trump ever reaching out to Twitter. Yeah. And besides, there's been plenty of evidence where um, officials from the White House or associated with Biden, mm -hmm. Biden reached out to Twitter to have mm -hmm. tweets taken down. That's all oh, that evidence is out there. They censored that whole Hunter Biden story. They said it was Russian disinformation. Yeah. It was fake. All that. Yeah. They, mis they abused their power. The Democrats. So, I mean, so the Democrats, they show the cause. They don't care um, the facts behind that Hunter Biden laptop, yeah. what that may have uh, mm -hmm. uh, led to. He said it himself at the end when he mm -hmm. closed out. We should be talking about Trump. They don't care what Democrats do wrong. Yeah. They don't care. They don't know what they're affiliated with. They don't mm -hmm. care. Yeah, this guy, man, whoever elected him, man. I mean, Wait, up? we used to live in that area. Yeah, he, he's Northern he's Virginia. a representative from Virginia, man. That dude is a scumbag. Yeah, Northern Virginia area, that's a Democratic stronghold. Yeah. And I see why he's in power. Yeah. That's a bunch of batshit crazy liberals. <laughs> You're supposed to be investigating Hunter Biden's laptop. Yeah. I mean, there's incriminating evidence. I mean, evidence everybody wants to know. And you, being an elected official, you, you should want to get down to the bottom of that laptop. Yeah. There's a possibility that our government especially on, on Biden's side, his family, is corrupt. And we would like to know if it's true or not. If but you doing all this hearsay, making up all these misrepresentations, yeah. it's just, I mean, you don't even take your position. It's it's to deflect. Serious. He's yeah. deflecting. I mean, if Hunter Biden's dad is not the president of the United States, he's not making all this money Yeah, being, being a head of uh, companies in, in the expertise he have no knowledge about. And not to mention, they found documents in Biden's uh, garage or somewhere in his garage, and they found evidence where he was paying um, some crazy amounts of money to his dad for rent. Yeah. For rent. He was charging his son some crazy amount of money, right? <laughs> for rent. Hey, was son, that gotta... really money for rent, or was they washing money? Yeah. That's what we like to know. Yeah. But you want to talk. But uh, this this guy, man, he's, he's he is. So he makes up a story about Trump yeah. to deflect. Yeah, I don't think there's a because it was all hearsay. This like if this was a court of law, I'm not talking to an employee. I'm talking to the supervisor. Yeah, the judge Black. What is it? What are you doing? Uh, law and order. What did be like? Strike it from the record, bitch. <laughs> What's the word they be saying? Sorry, on y'all strike that. That's uh, hearsay. Yeah, sustained. If, sustained. <laughs> if I was gonna say, strike that from the record. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, this is a court of law. This ain't Congress. <laughs> Judge Hodge here. <laughs> this ain't no damn kangaroo court. Take that. Sustained. <laughs> that was all a sideshow. It's political theater, yeah. and they deflecting maybe the possible crimes that the Biden family committed while he was vice president and while they're still committing. Sustained. <laughs> that was a damn good show. For more damn good shows, click one of these two videos right here. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like this bitch. Share it. <laughs> Share it across the world. We got a damn country to save. Yeah. We gonna make America great again.